They'll be calling you a radical. Sorry about that. Take two. A lot to talk about. First and foremost, the radio. It's been confirmed that the Dolphins, which the first batch of them were 160 of them, showed up on the beach. Watch. That's right on Fukushima Beach. Right there. Right there, Fukushima. I want this. I am the media now, and I'm really. How can you guys sit and listen to wait for confirmation from the alternative? I'm the alternative to the alternative. The alternative is they're not media. They're sheep herders. Sheep herders. NBC is General Electric. NBC is General Electric. It's been confirmed to me that it was the lungs filled up. Fukushima Diaries confirmed it. I've confirmed it with my sources. That's what good media does. What I've done. Look, in the early days, I'm the only one reporting Fukushima in reality. There's people out there that know, that are in the know, that are inside Japan, that are inside. They know what I know. I've been reporting in detail from the So they, where do they go? They come to me. So I get it. Look, the State Secret Act was thrown down in 2012. I'm the guy that reported it. I'm the guy that reported the Fukushima 50 guy was going to die his mom. I mean, so much of this because of my sources. Who are you going to go to? RT? <laughs> How's she there? Who are you going to go to? You know, ask Megan Rice. She thought she'd get media coverage. There's none who breaks into the most dangerous place, Y-12, when there's no security. The fake freaking, there's no terrorists. That we know the terrorists are. But this is very important. This is a big, big story. I know from my sources that IAEA did, which running the show at Fukushima, the United States of General Electric, the nuclear cartel, the colony of Japan. If you don't believe Japan's not a colony of the United States, you're a fool. Yalta by the sea, 70 years ago right now, they divided up. Barry Antoinette let them eat cake. Okay. He was told to stand at when he said. These treaties were signed long before I was born when he's there. Caroline there, 50 years from the anniversary. Stand down. The United States nuclear cartel, the United States, I pledge allegiance to the United States of nuclearism. Cancer spiking is being confirmed. The first 160, they're not whales. They're dolphins who are just like us, just like us. Filled up the lungs. I want people to very much understand this. I've been fighting for my, I was fighting for my life in an acute bone marrow transplant center for 1,240 days. We know that's what it about. Radiation, fallout, nuclear fallout attacks the soft tissue. That's why I've hiked so much. That's why I've been so working. I know when they beat you down with a heavy, heavy chemo, chemo in a can, that's how it, you have to have the healthy lungs. Why do you think I've been hiking like a freaking maniac? The soft, the big soft tissue is the lungs. Most people that get these cute diseases, leukemia, or whatever, die of Look, the lungs fill up with fluid, pneumonia. That's how you go. That's how you die in this freaking thesis. Maybe behind the eyes, soft tissue. It's being confirmed that's what killed them. The organs are perfectly fine. <laughs> Sonar. There's nothing wrong in the brain, nothing. It was the lungs were plump full. That's radiation. They did their biggest dump, the IAEA, who kidnapped Yalta by the sea. Remember the Atlantic Conference? Remember? No royals, no royals. That's when this thing, the UN was cut. The IAEA, by, that leads me to this. I'm headed to Austria. I'll be there the 12th or the 13th of June because they're doing their spent fuel cycle symposium in Vienna. I'm going to get right into the belly of the beast, right in their face, the greatest, evilest, cash cow, rip-off, mass murders in history that are killing themselves and they're all found. I'm going to go right in their face. I'm going to be in their face right there for... I fear no evil, literally. So that's what killed the Dolphins. Now they threw down the gauntlet on the State Secret Act with the United States nuclear cartel threw down over there. I really feel for the people of Japan. I really do. Especially the people from Fukushima. It's so heartbreaking. Just leave forever. Multi-generation, the fishermen, all. It's so heartbreaking. The United States nuclear cartel did this. And that's what's being confirmed. They threw down the state secret. There's been many more. The first group was 160. And some people tweeted and got photos out quickly. That's been sealed up. To talk about Fukushima, say for word Fukushima, you go to jail there. I used to do a radio show in the early days in Tokyo from here with a professor, he and I. The professor and the radio show host have not been heard from for a year and a half. One day, September 26, 2012, I used to get hundreds of emails a day from Japan, sometimes thousands, none. So we have a group in Hawaii who gets information leaked there, there. It's very, you know, it's, it's, it's dangerous what they do, but they do it. And if you don't believe they put journalists in prison here, ask Julian Hassan, he's sitting in his prison. Ask, you know, whistleblowers, ha! <laughs> they kill whistleblowers. Ask Michael Hastings, ask Aaron Swartz. I am Pat, F the most famous man in America, ordered execution murder. By the way, 
Now this is extremely important. That I want people to know I did all this in the belly of the beast. This is the University of General Electric. General Electric right now is selling off their entire portfolio. They're breaking up in front of these major lawsuits in San Diego. We know, they know, they the right of the best attorneys in the world are lined up. The people that took down Dow Chemical, the people that took down Philip Morris, well, didn't take them down, but these things, they've all lined up on this General Electric. General Electric knows. And I want to very much talk about this antitrust laws that exist in this country. They're in violation. So if you had a responsible government, they would step in and say, General Electric, you cannot break up right now. There's pending litigation. Pending litigation on the 800,000 military personnel in Japan, and it's opened up to all civilians in Japan, American civilians living in Japan. That's two million people. Penny, they know. They know they're done. They know the gig's up. I was the only one protesting there from the inception the whole time, reporting live from there. I have the only permit there. They know. It's against the law for them to break up while there's pending litigation. That's antitrust laws that exist in this country. But we have a government that does protect our people. The government should step in and say no, but what? No, the government's advising to do this. Just like the government advised British Petroleum to sell to Shell Oil litigation so they don't have to pay out the settlements. They rape the earth. Huh. Private beaches in the Gulf sealed off by British Petroleum. Excuse me, public beaches? They were sealed off by British Petroleum. Who owns this? <laughs> Wow. I'm a carpenter, what's a hammer? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a fisherman, what's a boat? I'm an anti-1%, I'm an anti-corporate, I'm anti, you know, usury, I'm anti, what's a usury law? What's antitrust law that exists? We went from the square deal to the new deal to the rod deal. I will quote Morgan. He said about Teddy, when he put all these antitrust, he says, we bought the son of a bitch and they, they bought it. Clintons, Bushes, and Obama. Come on, hello, pocket veto. All you American cowards, they don't want to hear the people that really know the Unpatriot Act, which is an illegal act. It takes two-thirds houses to pass even an amendment to the Constitution. You can't run for the third term. That's a real amendment to the United States. Oh, unless you're Bushes and Clintons, then you can run for all the terms you want. Let's see, Bushes already had three terms. Oh, they didn't even win two of them. Bro, so, well, so you can't run, Obama. Who are you protecting? Who are you protecting? You have the names in Switzerland. You have all the names of all these people that robbed, and pillaged, freaking Iraq, took the hundred dollar bills and switch. You have them. Put them out there. You said you were going to. You said you're going to be transparent. You can't run again. Who are you afraid of? You know, your mother was a downwinder. Your child has asthma byproduct of it. Hello. The Unpatriot Act is due to expire June 1st, the provision 215, which is one of the key components. Let it go. Pocket veto. Let it go. It takes two thirds. The Patriot Act's illegal. It takes two thirds. They would have never got that. And just a simple amendment, yet alone to freaking completely slaughter the entire Constitution. I want people to understand this. Anytime there's a social repression that takes control of a country world, which has happened before, which this is the greatest one ever, it always first they attack the tradesmen. I'm a tradesman. Am I a mason? Oh, hell yeah, a real one. I split my own rock. I was a plastic. Jesus Christ. A carpenter. Why do you think he was so pissed? They destroyed him. Paul Revere, the silversmith. That's what this freaking country was accepted on. They got tired of the oppression. Blocking the East India Company with a tariff at the port. Had nothing to do with taxation. Had protecting their freaking trades. We don't want your junky ass freaking Walmart Chinese goods, East India Company. We don't want them. That's what they always do is first they come for the craftsmen, the tradesmen. That's what they did. Look where they slaughtered them here. Hello, I was the big stucco contractor in this valley. Lath and plaster, never wood switch, never exploited one person in labor. I mean, we made huge money because <laughs> you know how dirty hard work to be skilled, it takes decades that that's what they did. You know, the Pacific Genocide's real. Here it is, it's being confirmed. Now there was another, there's more dead dolphins, more. But they threw down the gauntlet on the State Secrets Act. The United States colony of Japan, hello, y'all to buy this scene. Remember when they divided up 70 years ago right now? United States took Japan. Hello, read the freaking tree. The nuclear cartel over there, the experiment called I feel so bad for the people of Japanese. It's so heartbreaking what the nuclear cartel has done. General Electric right now is breaking up. The United States government, if they were responsible government and of the people, we the people, they would stand up under the constitutional duties that they have. The President of the United States, Congress, they will not step up because we know who they protect. They would step up protect our people. They're against their people. Media, they're not media. They're sheep herders. And they've herded you into a bone marrow transplant, into a leukemia thesis, into a body bag. Did you know people should be living to be 100 either? Heart, freaking bypass surgery, liver transplants, kidney transplants. Granted, they don't take care of themselves. Did you know as of 2012, longevity started to decline? There's how many million baby boomers are going to die? Oh, we can't afford it. You, do you think this is eugenics? Look up John Holden. Head of the Science and Technology in Cal Berkeley, the head of the snake. It's being reported. This is the, wow. 
All the death that's going on the sea, it's dramatic, but this is the most dramatic. They did their biggest flush and dump, which they've been doing the whole time. I, I, there was litigation, believe it or not, Japan. I listened to the litigation on 12 Translated the whole thing back in the early days. You know, I've been all over this from day one. Now, I'm headed to Vienna. I'll be in Europe for a while. I'm going to June 12th because it's the spent fuel cycle conference, which is this, I call it the cycle of sociopath mass murder conference. I'm going right in face to face to the belly of the beast. These criminals, by the way, you criminals, don't you know you're killing yourselves? And you can ask the NRC themselves. They all know me personally. Go to California Public Commission's board. Go ask them. Go talk to Peavy. Go talk to Cherry, the ones that got their houses raided. Go talk to any of them. Oh, they fear me because I know my subject matter and I don't play nicey-nice with them. They talk to me after. We'll have a beer together. We'll have an other plan. And the spokesman for the NRC, the liaison, they'll say, hey, it's the American populace. They just kicked the can on this spent fuel. The big freaking nightmare in this country is the spent fuel. Thus, Unit 3, Moxie fuel. What do they use it for? To make nuclear bombs. Why do you need no more nuclear bombs? Megan Rice broke into Y-12, 85-year-old and no one's there. You don't care. She did it for publicity. Greg and Mike are sitting in Leavenworth, freaking being abused hardcore. You're talking an 85-year-old nun was put in a federal detention facility set up for three weeks for a year and a half. I sat in the trial from here to there for a month. Your Honor, thank you for holding me in a federal detention facility that's built to hold for three weeks at 55 degrees and almost killing an 85-year-old nun. Thank you, thank you, prosecutor. Thank you for not giving me bail. Thank you for charging me for commentaries for just calling out the fact that there is nobody watching the most dangerous place in the world. Thank you for I'm trying to call out the fact the United States is breaking their own laws the act signed by Gorbachev and Reagan to get rid of nuclear weapons as you're making more. Thank you, thank you. So now when I get out, I have something else to protest. The military industrialized prison complex. Megan Rice, Knoxville, Tennessee, June 28, 2014. You will see. I see by the sea. I walk by the sea. I've seen all the dead mamas. The mama sea lion's dying. The mama elephant seal's dying. Your mama's dying. Cut your breasts off, have your prostate ripped up. Oh, cancer's like a cold. Oh boy. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's sad. They died from radiation. It's been confirmed in the lungs. Now they threw down the gauntlet, there's more of them washed up, but to take a photograph to even protest, you go to prison in Japan. Now think about that. The United States colony, which look up the treaties, look up the treaties. They're not free, they think. Those treaties list for hundreds of years when World War II, we took it. I mean, it's heartbreaking. The United, Japan's being run by the nuclear. The United States is the nuclear. I pledge allegiance. Look it up. Look it up, Price Anderson. Look it up, the subsidy. This is a, look up Livermore. The, the, the weapons designers at Livermore can, are private contractors, so you can't look it up, making $1.5 million in each. They don't do anything. This is the greatest cash cow ripoff mass murder in human history. The great American experiment is a failure. I'll be in Europe for a while, you know, so I'll be in Vienna, I think June 12th for a while. And that conference is the 15th and the 19th. I'll protest there every day. I'm going to the belly of the beast. And I want to call this out to you people that are doing this. Don't you realize you finally eating your own? You're killing your, your own self and your own family? Which I know you don't care. You're sociopaths. You do anything for money. You're, you're the greatest sociopath that ever walked. The spent fuel cycle is the sociopath cycle of death. But don't you realize you're killing yourself? Remember this, Steve Jobs. One of my doctors, one of his doctors. One of the richest men in the world. He was a smart dude. Steve Chinese job, one of the abusive people the laboring. They couldn't save him. I get my guess right now, Jamie Diamond's in the fight of his life. He gave a statement after three months. Oh, it's all better. Worst taboo thing you can do. Ask Tony Gwynn. Ask all these people. I've known that. That's why I've hiked and fought and so brutally and so hardcore. I know it progressively comes back and attacks the lungs. And your lungs flew up and that's what kills you. It attacks the soft tissue just like it did the dolphins. We are just like the dolphins. Wow. You know. The emperor has no fucking clothes. My guest, Jamie Diamonds, and I wouldn't wish this even on him, as evil as he is. I would not wish this type of death on anyone. You've all watched it. You know how brutal and ugly it is. Wow, the military, beware of the military industrialized nuclear complex. You think that was a cliche? Read it. Not going to happen? Happen. The main event, oh, we're heard of what happened. And I will say this, in California, you have 40 years of spent fuel sitting on site at San Onofre, 30 days all over the country. and. What's going on? If you don't think so, look at the Ukraine, what happened there. Those militia dumps that blew up were found full of nuclear fallout. The cover-up was orchestrated by the IAEA in Vienna. 
So I'll see you all, you guys in Europe. I plan on spending there for a while. I need some help because I've got to learn how to have a phone over there that I can call, you know, that'll work in Europe. I have to get a debit card that'll work in here and there. And I, I'm going to try to finish my book right before I go, and I'll have it posted online. So you'll be able to read it, and I'll explain all this in integrate 